Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering Skill. In this video, I am going to discuss some introduction part about the Wisdom software. So first of all, before starting the Wisdom software, we will see that from where we can download the Wisdom software. So it is a very simple process. Just go to your browser and type Wisdom student version. That will redirect you to a new page. And on a third option, you can see PTV academic program. So PTV group is giving a academic program in which you can download the thesis license also. So thesis license is a very short term license for three months or six months based on your work. That will be helpful while you are doing any research work. If you don't want to apply for your thesis license, you can get your student license also. So just click on the student license. You will be redirected to a new page that will give you your student version. But before downloading the student version, you need to fill up all the details given in this page. So you can select the trial version, whether you want to go for a Visim or Visum. So here you can select PTV Visim 2020. That is the latest version of Visim software. So fill up all your personal details and then click on the submit button. Once you click on the submit button, the download page will be open. So after downloading the Wisdom software, you can install. Installation process is very similar to the other basic software. So I'm skipping the part of installation and we are going directly to the Wisdom software. So once you start the Wisdom software, on a very first page, there are some instructions given to you. So instructions are related to the basic steps that are involved in a Wisdom software. So here you can see the support service has been given to you. That is a release note. Tutorial first steps. That means what are the first steps that a uh, newcomer should follow? Examples are also given to you. That is a preloaded example on network signal. Everything is given in this particular student version. So here you can see on the first one, recently used file. The file you are working on recently that will be shown here. For the first time use, you can directly go to the network editor. If you have a good internet connection, then you can load whatever area that you would like to load. So here you can see on a left hand side bottom, scale is given to you. 100 kilometer scale is right now on my screen is visible. So it will be a tricky process. If you have a good internet network, you can use this or else for a practice work, you can insert an image of Google Map from your computer. To load your previously saved image, you can click on the file, open and just select the location of your saved file. So here I am using the inbuilt image given by the PTV Visim software. So just go on the tutorial and guide, tutorial first step, Visim file and here you can see the three images are given to you or you can see the input files are given to you. So I am selecting the headquarter 041 as my background image. So you can see one background image of a T intersection has been loaded in our system. The next step should be lock the background image. Why it is necessary to lock the background image? Because when you are drawing any kind of geometry on this particular image, it will be working as a secondary layer. It is necessary to make our image and our geometry as a single layer. For the same purpose, it is necessary to lock the background image. Now how to lock the background image? First click on the image that has been on a screen and here you can see on a left hand side network objects are there. So without selecting the background image, just move the cursor on the left hand side of background image, you can see a lock symbol and click on that symbol. Now your image has been locked. If you are moving anything, now your image will not going to move at all. This is a very basic step to start any of the project on preloaded image. If you are working on a real life project, you can directly draw all the geometry on a loaded map. Here you can see background maps or grid button. If you want to work directly on a background map, 
you can switch on this button on and off but to do so you require the internet connection to load the background map easily okay so today we are not going with the background map we are just starting our tutorial with the loaded background image itself so on the left hand side it is necessary that network object is visible if it is not for example by mistake you have closed the network image or network object then you can regain the network object from view network object so here you can see the network object is again visible it is necessary that network object on the left hand side should be visible so these are the network object that you can utilize in your wisdom software so just let me give you the brief introduction about the link link is nothing but the road that we actually want to draw on our preloaded image or preloaded map so to draw the link there are two option on some of the pc it will work with the simple right click button or or else it will work with control plus right click button so it is very simple to draw a link to draw any link just click on the link button and press control and right click at the starting point and drag the mouse until you reach up to the ending point on your screen just leave all the keys you will prompt with the new window so here you can see you can also give the name to your road for example i would like to provide the name of this road as north south so i am giving this as a short form and as north south so link number is a one number of lanes are only one if you want to draw a two lane road just increase the number of lanes so by increasing number of lanes here you can see it will also shows you the width if you want to change the width just click on the width and write down 4.5 so the width lane width will be 4.5 so there are other options also that link behavior type how the link is going to behave here you can see the scroll down list urban motorized right side rural motorized freeway free lane section then footpath cycle track okay so right now we are just going with the default urban motorized way so other option is display type how your road should be display whether it is a road gray then rail rail pedestrian area gray obstacle escalator strap so whatever function you are using for whatever function you are using the road you can select according to this the display so this option is particularly associated with the display purpose only it is not associated with any of the working purpose here you can see the level level is a base one so right now there is no other levels are present in our drawing it will by default giving us a base level so level is nothing but a layer if you want to construct a pedestrian footpath on this particular road you can construct it as a level 2 So this is all about the brief introduction of Wisdom software. For more details on a link and every other network object, stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe Civil Engineering Skills.